Welcome to Tame or Lame. In this series, we're going to be evaluating pets to see if you should tame or if they're just lame. And we're going to be spinning a wheel to decide which three pets to test. Let's get started. Welcome back to Tame or Lame, guys. Today, we're going at it again, but we actually have two special guests today. I'm actually thrilled with how this series is going. I like every single episode. It's been fun to do, and um, the series has gained a little bit of traction. So, today, it's going to be special. We are going to have David A and KXT Gaming join in on us today and give us some pet ratings. Now, this is actually cool. I want to get this series out more, so uh, be sure to drop a like down below and let's get started. So how this is going to work is I am going to give the first pet rating because we do three. David is going to give the next and KXT is going to be right after. And then let's see if we can get, get a tame or maybe two tames to do a battle in the dual stadium. Starting off with myself, I have gotten Paterox. Now, it's quite interesting here. Um, on one hand, we got a pet lacking health and having a random, uh, and, uh, sp uh, uh, two other spells that aren't the greatest. But on the other hand, we have a physical spell that is excellent aim and seven power. I, yeah, I just said it wasn't the greatest five seconds ago, but that was not in the script. And, uh, Whirlwind one of the best physical spells in the game now um what is really to put and consider here is the stats also although um the stats are balanced out you wouldn't expect this but health is actually the, the highest stat from Pateratel having 800 with my 135 charge levels now um although it's not the greatest I will tell you that it's not that bad either and for a pet with whirlwind that I would actually consider using, or something like Acromi, I might even take Pateratel over Acromi. Since an, a pet like Acromi only has 720 health compared to the 800 that Pateratel has. Now, also keep in mind that Pateratel is a first evolution pet, so if you don't have him already, at a high level, you can't really get him to a high level. And lucky for me, I bought all the dinosaurs when I was an OG, so I have Pateratel. Now, overall, like it's just a balance out of the stats. Maybe not the greatest storm spells, but overall, I have to give this guy a tame. So here is Jabrella, its stats are a little padded because it's on one charged level, but you can see its spells, it has Flicker, Spark Storm, Bubble Burst, and Flood. One of the things that I don't like about this is that it only has one spell that has excellent aim, and then its other spell, that, or its next closest spell to excellent is a good spell, Bubble Burst. I'm not normally a big fan of water spells, and I guess I'm not really a big fan of storm spells either since not many people are normally using water pets. I did try it out in a battle in the dual stadium and I was using Flicker. It only did about 177 damage to the wizard. I definitely think it would be a little better if it had at least one physical spell that could actually do some good damage to the wizard, like at least 200. One of the things I will say is good about it is it does have a pretty good speed. 580 is normally going to be pretty good for speed. Comparing its health to some other pets, it doesn't seem like it has like a super high health. Maybe it's around average. And I'm not really sure what the average defense would be. I think this isn't great though. But actually looking at a few more, it does seem like it's probably about average, but I don't really think defense matters. I've never really cared about it. Overall, I would say that you could just leave Jebrella alone. I don't think its spells are good enough to make it good for PvP, so I'm going to say that if we should just leave it alone because it's lame.
Now, this is a very versatile moveset in my opinion. We have a really solid physical spell. We have practically a mythical epic special, uh, an excellent aim, reliable plant spell, and an AoE for other situations. So I say that's a pretty good moveset. Now, speed actually is pretty good as well as health. Now, I do have charge levels, so it is a bit different, but if you take a look at a high-speed pet like Vegabloom, Vegabloom has 830 speed and Sentinel has 730 speed, so compared to some of one of the highest speed pets in the game, that's not that bad. Even its health actually really isn't that bad. It's way more than Vegabloom's, so I would say that this pet is actually a little better than Vegabloom. So overall, I would definitely give this a tame. This is definitely a must-have plant pet. Now, because I got two tames in this video, thanks to these YouTubers for participating, go check out David A's and Casey's channels as well. Um, we are going to be doing a battle. Now, remember, we got Pateratel and uh, Senti Sentinel because David A um, denied Jell Jabrella, even though I kind of like Jabrella. So, we're gonna see how this combo does together. Can they actually make a combo? Uh, I doubt it, but like, um, we're here to find out, so. And, um, yeah, let's just see where it goes. We have two ice pets and one of them is weak to ice. Ice wand. Uh, and to my knowledge, Sentinel doesn't have, uh, the greatest speed. I know KXT was comparing it to... Um, his Vegaloom, but his Vegaloom didn't have the charge level, so it wasn't complete fair judgment. Alright. Um, yeah, okay. Um, uh, yeah, that's not good. That, that's all I can really say. Uh, work. It's already kind of bad for us. Our Sentinel is about to die on the first turn, and he has Heat Wave, so we gotta pray, pray that he misses. He does miss, but on the wrong guy. Okay, this is, this is, yes, this is going to be bad. Alright, um, we take that hit. Uh, I'm just so scared of the ice spells. Even if it's not powerful, it can still do, do massive, like, yes, yeah, seven power spells doing nearly 500 damage. Wow. Alright. This is not good at all. He can just take me out. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead, that's it. That, okay, yeah, that's quite it right here. Oh, no. Please do an AoE instead. No, oh my god. Alright, I mean... The good thing about this guy is he has Whirlwind. It's not gonna do anything, though. Like, you see what I mean, bro? Like... This is my luck right here. Top, uh, top five, uh, my luck moments. But, uh, yeah, we're screwed. If, if we had taken him out, we might have had the chance. But, uh, no, we don't now because, um, he has more speed. And he has Frost Spear. And Frost Spear, wait, can Frost Spear take me out? I'm pretty sure Frost Spear can. 570, Paterotel, does he have good defense? Oh, well, okay, um. Okay, yeah, okay, um. Uh, that was by far one of the closest battles. Like, legit, that was by far one of the closest battles I've ever had on, on camera. Like, wow. Wow. Alright, um. I don't know if I even could have taken out that guy without the crit, but, um, I'm glad we got it. So, um, with that, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks to David A and KST for participating, and see you in the next one.